Alright y'all, we are at the shop. It is, uh, what time is it? 7.39. And, uh, pretty much every morning when I get to the shop, I uh, tend kind of to the office. As many of you know, your truck, your vehicle is your office. And I have not restocked a lot of locks that I have to do and uh, just kind of throwing them in there. So the back of the truck is in really rough shape. However, I don't have enough time today to deal with it as either I got grade two up here in the front seat. So I'm gonna grab my bags out. I sit here for a minute and uh, make sure that no jobs kind of slip down, you know, in here and sort my, sort my EDC out basically for the day. Um, because as every day goes through, stuff gets put in the wrong place. And uh, so, yeah, that's what we're doing for just a few minutes. And uh, then I'm going to ooh, go in the shop. Do the same thing in there for about 10 minutes. And uh, first call at 8 o'clock. So uh, i got 20 minutes to spare. Everybody needs a zen moment, right? actually feels pretty dang good out here right now y'all so i'm gonna gather the stuff that needs to go in Ooh, for the day including this charger cord for the phone and this bag just goes in because you don't leave bags in your car right restaurant restaurant truck uh, and actually a little bit to do up there I've got a project going on project video but I will get oh, I need to find a haircut in person too let's go ahead and set this down in a little spot that I made for my computer so that it's out of the way and uh, I gotta charge the old GoPro for the next 15 20 minutes so I can finish this day or start start this day really right now uh, and I'm gonna go back and grab the daily appointments to see what we have let's get all this hmm having a no answer from my landlord we've never done business with tried, tried to get payment on the phone yesterday and his phone was off the hook the whole time and that always concerns me alrighty so we have uh, who this is oh it's a big job day looks like I've got four or five four or five wood doors and a metal door using a marks profile cylinder lock I got a rekey the whole house basically uh still gotta go put some batteries in on an alarm system or a uh, door mag lock funny thing about that one is uh, they said the button didn't work one day and they went and reset the breaker and the breaker when they turned the breaker off their ac central ac went out and i was like what that ain't right um then I've got a common area in a apartment, or like a fancy apartment with a retail shopping center. I've got two rekeys and a door that will not lock. So probably shifted because it's a fairly new building. And uh, then after that, this is all before lunch, y'all. Then I've got another five door rekey over here in a neighborhood close to us. And again, that's all scheduled before lunch. So busy morning, which is okay because it's getting hot outside and don't want to deal with the day in the heat. I want to get all the hard stuff done in the morning time. If it was up to me, I would say
looks like on this one we had the one double cylinder profile cylinder and a plug that I just repaired. The cap had come off the plug and dumped all the pins and springs. And let's see what we have. Bunch of Schlage B160 style deadbolts. So I'm going to take all these apart and re key them. Like six doors, I think we have. Six or, six or seven doors. And I actually, we had another cylinder with a missing cap as well. This one is really worn out, so I'm likely just going to replace. Uh, that I don't think I have a cap laying anywhere and there was not a cap in the knob so looks like we have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 re-key. One re-key, no key. So we're going to have to pick this one. Uh, storage room and then either one replace cylinder or one repair again I don't know if I have any Schlage caps I know I've got Schlage caps at the shop but that is at the shop not with me I'm sitting here gonna run try to do this real quick see how rough we're gonna be on this one this is the old Schlage F series The rest of them is just a simple reeky. Oh yeah, and the two profile cylinders. I can't forget those. We charge more for those because they're harder to do. Having to take all, all the chamber caps off. Let's see if we can rake it here real quick. And uh, the rest of them is just plain old rekey. And uh, once I find a new cylinder, I uh, found a new cylinder. Actually, I had about five of them, so we're just going to use this fella. And because that's the main doorknob into the house. So I could switch this out and kind of half repair it with uh, any retainer. Um, I could probably dig through here and find a retainer and crimp on and then put it, switch it out with a lesser used one on a door that they never come in. But just to save time, we're going to, we're going to knock it out like this. Okay, y'all, now we are going to re-key it to new keys. We'll get started with this new guy back here. New keys. All right, here we go. Alright y'all got them all keyed up, throw the old keys out and reassemble, Autobots reassemble.
So basically, I probably could just rewind, <laughs> rewind the video instead of taking more video, but this is the end result, and then we're going to go put them back on the doors and move on to the next one, which is another five-door rekey. So, uh, where my tweezers go? And uh, on big, big cylinder jobs like this, well, on most cylinder jobs, I don't drop the pin or springs, especially when I have backup springs for this retainer. So if I lose one, I've got more in my pin and kit right here, and even more in here. But as long as you hold the cylinder right when you're dumping it and rekeying it. Should be able to hold your spring in there. Okay. Perhaps the most important thing after a job is closing the pin and kit. We are going to dump all these back in the bag and uh, move this cylinder over to this lock. And go put them back on.
leaky. One, two, three from the front, four. switch around whole locks. This one's pretty dang rough. Pretty common thing with wise or uh quick fit and uh this will go back doors much better. And uh we'll switch them around. So I chose a key out of my 
pre-cut keys here. That is going to be the one that we key it to. Let's see what kind of condition these bad boys are in. Ten re-key all. Number of the day rhymes with hen and pen. The number of the day is ten. So that's the number. Ten not slayed. These are quick set, quick set, quick set, quick set. Really, one of them needs to be totally replaced, but we're just gonna deal with it. There's one hardware store copy, two hardware store copies, new keys are gonna go over here, and boom, time to get going. Look, that tool is our favorite tool on this one. need lubricant pretty bad and uh, I need two pairs of pliers to straighten out that but other than that it looks like just a plain old reiki quick set reiki Screwdriver guy. The little screwdriver always disappears. Actually, I had to take it out uh, because it kept disappearing on me. So I popped it out there. I'm going to put the spindle right back in and leave it centered and carry all these separately. Snap it in when I get to the door. Every so often, you got to be kind of cautious to make sure it matches but I can tell this one's new this is goes to the new so ow watch your thumb when you do that oh no tailpiece is trying. tailpiece was trying to run um oh I forgot to do this too usually I do it all in one fell Swoop. Rough, rough, rough shape. Lastly, lastly, I'll straighten the tailpiece when I get done with it. Oh, it jumped. Okay, Ricky. Check out that. Well, 
well worn inside on this one. It's been around the block. All right, here we have one that's totally seized up. Lubricant did not really help. So we gotta pop the cap on this one. That happens when they get seized up bad enough. So pop the cap. Just put them all up here. Keep your springs. No reason not to. And uh, dump everything you can. Hopefully we'll be able to get the core out. Oh, there we go. it up reassemble I'm going to use all new top pins because the other ones were just too corroded and I'm using uh, 145 top pins it was not overly necessary to use really long ones for quick set knobs and try to get all of our oh we got one try to get all of our springs back in unless we oh got one and snap our cap back on Just like new. Just, I want you to look at how bad off this key is. So bad. So bad. Oh, I still made it though. So the biggest thing these things need is a lubricant on the spring cage and right there. Not a bad idea to give it a light coating there as well, but every quick set you come across is likely going to need a helping hand with a good quality lubricant tri-flow. LPS one. Houdini. Now this one's the one that's in the bad condition. This one's gonna go on the back door that doesn't get used much. Rotate. And close your pinning cap. Alright, we're off because we need to take this with us because we have latches as well to lubricate. Oh, almost forgot a clip. It wouldn't have been good. And as far as lubricant goes, I'm going to go ahead and with quick set, there's a slit right there. So if you hit it in that slit, it'll go to the front. Um, and that does let you lubricate the surface right there too. Same with the deadbolt. Just squirt it down that slit. And on these you can also spray it there and it'll it'll suck down. Hey. Lubricating 101. And grab a paper towel and let's go put them back on the door.
that that was column, column two, but I just got locked down. Something broke here. <laughs> He's just spinning around. That's interesting. I wonder what happened. Looks like our clip came off. I'm gonna go replace this clip real quick. Glad I caught that. Absolutely the reason why we test locks after we put them on the door uh, with from the inside and the outside because that would have been a callback. So just goes to show definitely. Well, you can test your locks. And uh, this one is actually because it's been on the door stupidly. Try again. down. Everything's locked up, and uh, now I gotta get to the shop and drop these keys off and grab uh, or do whatever I need to do in the shop. Invariably, there's a couple of re keys and possibly key making or whatever. So, I'm 
I run by the shop. I usually try to get by there midday, and I'm already uh, a little bit behind. It's like 1.30 now, I think. Video brought to you by Loctite Corporation. Make sure and pick up a container of Loctite Industrial Wipes today. For all your hand wiping needs, when you have dirty hands, regular hand wipes just won't do the trick. So pick up a thing of Loctite Industrial Hand Wipes and wipe those cares away. It looks like I don't have really anything in here for me to do so I'm going to charge my GoPro and actually download some of this footage so I will uh, unless something odd pops up uh, that's what I'll be doing for the next little bit is uh, dealing with footage from the day and soaking in some AC because it's two o'clock and I'm pretty hot I'm gonna go ahead and make some extra keys to keep in my vehicle because I have used a few over the past few days. So let's go ahead and do just a few keys for the end of the day here. I'm gonna use my HPC to code cut out uh, probably two or three. I'm gonna switch the wheel and use it to cut out two or three sets of uh, keys, both Schlage and quick set we'll start with schlage here and uh quick set and this is just a restock what i've used today specifically and quick set Now to repeat that with quick set, which I'm not gonna make you guys watch. All right, y'all, I think that is it for the day. Gonna run get coffee and uh, wrap up this video. So, appreciate all you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, as always, look in the comments section. You got it. You got it.